the world of science was once again shocked by two extraordinary events that occurred in the heart of Yellowstone National Park's geothermal area, two eruptions from Black Diamond Pool and Biscuit Basin, each of which was surprising, unexpected, and extremely mysterious. The first eruption on the 23rd of July, 2024, created a massive hydrothermal explosion that destroyed part of the trail, deformed the pool, and lifted mud and rock more than 500 feet into the air. But no less surprising was the second eruption on May 31, 2025 smaller than the first, but powerful enough to raise a profound question. What exactly happened before this second eruption? The occurrence of the second eruption from Black Diamond Pool on May 31, 2025, has shaken the scientific community, not only because of its rarity, but also because of the big question that now looms. Have similar eruptions occurred before, but gone unnoticed by the lack of surveillance cameras? After the first major eruption in July 2024, the USGS and the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory WEVO, installed permanent monitoring cameras in the area. But now, with the second eruption, scientists are wondering whether similar activity could have occurred more than once, but gone unrecorded due to the lack of direct visual monitoring. The first eruption opened our eyes, and that's when we put a closer eye on the pool," said Dr. Alicia Roman, a geothermal scientist at YVO. But the fact that the second eruption occurred without a major pressure buildup or earthquakes before it made us wonder how many smaller eruptions could have been happening silently over the past months. Some scientists speculate that changes in the pool's morphology such as shallowing, new mud deposits, and different water flow patterns, could be indirect evidence of smaller eruptions that weren't captured by cameras or sensors. Some scientists believe that without visual recordings or seismic data, it's hard to prove there were other eruptions between these two major events. Others believe that the geological changes in the pools are unlikely to be the result of just one big explosion and one small one. The changes in the landscape are not consistent with just two eruptions. It's possible that this system has been quietly active more often than we thought, said Dr. Ethan Grady, a geologist at Montana State University who has long studied Yellowstone's hydrothermal system. Unlike volcanic eruptions, which tend to leave a strong seismic signature, hydrothermal eruptions often occur without warning, don't produce large earthquakes, and last very briefly. That makes them one of the most difficult types of geological activity to detect except with direct visual recordings or very sensitive instruments. The USGS is now considering expanding visual and thermal monitoring across the Biscuit Basin and several other locations in Yellowstone that have a history of hydrothermal eruptions. The second Black Diamond Pool eruption has raised many questions, few answers. Scientists agree that Yellowstone's hydrothermal system still holds many mysteries, and that without consistent monitoring, important activity could be missed. Mike Poland, coordinator of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory YVO, recently confirmed that new data shows a significant surge in magma activity beneath the caldera.
we're seeing a surge in pressure from the shallow magma chamber beneath Yellowstone. It's not an imminent eruption threat, but it's a very strong and unusual surge, Poland said at a press conference in early June 2025. He said the magma movement could be one of the causes of changes in the hydrothermal system, including the instability of Black Diamond Pool, which has now erupted twice in less than a year. Many scientists now suspect that the second eruption was not an isolated event, but rather part of the hydrothermal system's response to increased pressure from within. The surge of magma that occurred did not cause a major earthquake, but disrupted the flow of heat and water vapor, which could trigger hydrothermal explosions like those seen at Black Diamond Pool. The pressure changes from below can change the microstructure of the hydrothermal zone. It's like suddenly opening a steam valve, Poland explained. The USGS is now increasing its observations not only of the surface hot pools, but also of ground inflation, volcanic gas temperatures, and microseismic activity for signs of further magma movement. With two black diamond pool eruptions and the USGS's confirmation of a magma surge, the scientific world now sees Yellowstone as an active and increasingly unpredictable region. The debate is a reminder that in an active geological world like Yellowstone, our understanding is still very limited. As technology continues to advance, researchers hope to uncover underground activity that has long been hidden.